Are you an amazing coach, consultant, professional service provider who's established, you've built success into your business, but maybe you've been doing things, what I like to call the hard way, the volume method. So you're working with lots of clients, you're working with them at not premium fees, not ultra premium fees. So maybe you're playing in that uh, under $10,000 range for your clients. A lot of people are charging five or six and you know they're working with people and letting them pay over the course of a year those kinds of things or they're selling low ticket products or courses or you know training whatever if you have done that and you are doing that in your business but you are not working with ultra premium clients so twenty five thousand fifty seventy five hundred thousand dollar two hundred thousand dollar plus clients i have to ask why why because you've already accomplished a lot of amazing things with which what I think is the absolute hardest way to build a business. And that's why I don't teach it because it's hard for most people and most people are not successful with it. So if you have been able to create that success with what I call the volume method, then you've got huge, huge, huge opportunity to land bigger clients and start, you don't have to leave that business, you don't have to move away from it, but you could start working with more ultra premium clients who are going to pay you probably as much as all of those people put together. And when you do that, not only do you make more money, but now you can actually almost hire a team to like run all of that for you, and you can start building a business of freedom, working with ultra premium clients that are amazing, that you'll love, that truly value and appreciate what you have to bring to the table, and they will pay you great money to do it. I can remember uh, uh, many, many years ago when I first started coaching, I was talking to a business owner and he said, well, you know, so-and-so over here is offering his coaching for $197 a month. And you know my very first reaction? Oh, that guy can't be very good. He's not very good. Uh, yeah, go ahead, spend your $197 a month. I would be shocked if you got very many results. And here's the thing, that is how ultra premium people think when your prices are too low. So when you're out there selling everything low ticket, you don't have anything that's really leveled up and that is really high end. Uh, number one, they won't buy from you. And number two, you're not even giving them an opportunity to buy from you. They would. And here's the other thing. Often those people are sitting in your network, believe it or not, but they're not buying your little courses and they're not buying your $7 thing and they're not buying your, you know, your low end stuff because it's not the way they do their business. They are beyond those things. They probably did those things when they were a startup or they did those things at one point in their life, but they're not DIYers and they value time more than money. So they, they use their resources to uh, really save time and to move the needle faster, money by speed. And so if you don't have an ultra premium service, you can't sell it. Now, just today, in fact, I was having a conversation with someone on LinkedIn who, you know, he said, well, what is it you really do, Ann? And I said, oh, look, I, I work with coaches, consultants, and service providers uh, to really help them land high ultra premium clients. So like 25000 to to $100,000 or even more. And he said, really, well, what's my uh, $100,000 offer? And I could tell he was just jabbing at me a little bit, which was fine. And I said, well, first of all, I don't know enough about you. Tell me what you sell and tell me who you sell it to. So he said, I, you know, sell to this audience and I sell a $6,000 program. And I said, well, do you take all of that in one chunk? You know, or, and he said, I'm getting 10 to 12 clients a month. And I said, well, if you're taking all of that uh, $6,000, you know, cash, then that's a fairly nice little business, right? I mean, you're making 60 plus grand a month and that's great, but he wasn't doing that. He was spreading it out over 12 months. Okay, so what's the problem with that? Now, I get that he was having residual income and all of that, but hey, you don't, you can stay cash poor doing that. So if he were taking the $6,000 up front and he was making that every single month and he was working with 10 clients a month and he loved that business that is exceptional right 60 grand he wouldn't need a big team for that but here's where the opportunity could come in he he could actually take that model and teach it to people to help them be able to do what he's doing all right so that's one way but here's the thing that wasn't even his biggest opportunity it just wasn't his biggest opportunity 
was his past, was his past experience. He shared with me what his background was. I always find out, what was your background? What's your experience? What's your skills? What's your knowledge? And he shared with me what his background was through just a quick landing page where I could read his bio, and which I did because at this point I was really curious about him. And that is also how I strategically see if someone is my ideal client. If they have nothing going on or they don't have anything happening, they're not, right? So so I went and I read his bio and I was I was blown away, blown away at what this guy has accomplished um, in business. And I was so shocked that he, I felt like he was playing in just such a small pond. He had opportunity with his past experience, which actually would have been extremely easy to put into place, really, really easy because he already knew how to market. And if he just had something packaged up in the right way, and he went and, and, and just literally got in front of a few people, he would have buyers. He would have buyers for that hundred and two hundred thousand dollar, maybe even more offer. And I would I knew in five minutes I even knew how I could help him do that. Now I'm not saying this, you know, to sound like, oh, there's magic. No, it's experience, honestly. I've done it so much. I have this so one of my clients said, Ann, you have a gift. I do. I, I do have a gift to see people's opportunity. I do have a gift to see how to cultivate that into this incredible business model. But most people can't see this for themselves. They cannot see their value. They cannot see their brilliance. And they cannot see their bigger opportunity. And so what happens is they fall into what I like to call the low ticket trap, the volume trap, when really their opportunity is somewhere else. And the thing is, when you work with ultra premium clients for those kinds of fees, you don't need very many of them. He wouldn't even have to leave his business that he's got going. He could just add a few ultra premium clients and he could make huge, huge financial leaps in his business. I mean, think about it. Land a few, three hundred, you know, a few hundred thousand dollar clients, three or even five that you could easily work with. Um, yeah, that's fairly good money, wouldn't you say? But here's the thing, most people don't do it. And if they did, they could land people right away from their connections and their network and the people that already know them and like them and trust them, but they don't think they're for them. And that's that's the difference. So I had to share this story because I see this over and over again. Big ticket, like I don't even like to use high ticket anymore. Even though my book talks about high ticket, my best selling book talks about high ticket clients, I really almost want to go back and redo that book, or maybe I'm going to write another one about ultra, t ultra premium because I feel like high ticket's so overused that people think high ticket is $1,000 or $2,000 or $5,000 or even $10,000. That's not high ticket. It really is, it really does come down to who you're working with and what you're doing for them. And ultra, ultra premium clients do not buy low, low ticket stuff. They're not do, DIYers and they don't go through courses and they don't go through funnels and they don't buy into $197 a month programs. They just don't. And so if you don't understand this, you can't add those services to your business. But most people have no idea how they would even do this and they don't even see their opportunity. So listen, I wanted to share the story because I see it over and over and over again. Now, he didn't jump all over it and say, well, Ann, you know, he, he was fishing and I know he wanted to see if I really could help him. And so I planted the seed and I said, look, I've, based on your experience and your background, why you're not leveraging that to create a hundred or $200,000 offer, I'm not sure, but uh, you could. And so I planted that seed with him. I don't know what he'll do with it. He's crazy if he doesn't come back and work with me unless he just loves what he's doing, staying in his comfort zone, and he doesn't want to do anything else. And if that's the case, you can't. I can't help people. But what if he did do that? What if he let me help him package that up? And what if he landed a few of those clients? How could that be a game changer in his life? Well, most people are leaving this kind of money on the table over and over and over again. So I had to share this because what a great story. This is how it happens. You know, um, 
many, many, many years ago when I was building one of my businesses, one of my health clubs, um, I learned through my first business and my second business, I learned that high ticket premium services were a faster path to making big financial leaps in my business. I learned that in, in my, you know, when I first got into business. And it's a strategy that I've used through every business that I've had. And even 20 years ago, 18 years ago, when I had a health club, we had a $12,000 offer. Now that may not sound like a lot. Um, you know, today you, you hear those things back then, that was unheard of. Nobody was offering those kinds of services. We offered $800 services, $900 services, and we sold them. We didn't just offer them, we sold them. But if I would have never done that, we wouldn't have sold them, right? If I wouldn't have at least had them available, even if we only got a handful of people at those services, do you know that that handful of people made us more money, made my business more money than hundreds of volume people in that in that business, in that club. So I am such a believer that there's always bigger opportunity. You don't have to give all of this up. It's a hard way to start a business and build a business. I teach high ticket first and then low. But if you've already got all of this going and you don't have premium, ultra premium services, it is your next step to scale. And you can do it usually fairly easy because you've already done a lot of the heavy lifting and a lot of the legwork and you've already got community and network and connections and people and an email list and those people are sitting out there but they're not buying from you because they think you are not for them. So I hope this is helpful. Reach out to me if you wanna have 30 day results in your business landing ultra premium clients from what you're kind of already doing, but let's level it up. You have an amazing day. Bye-bye.